Welcome to Retro Upgrade. Sorry for the delay of the video. I'm working on a bigger video, but it took longer than expected. So we're diving into this today. Today we'll be discussing the jailbreak for the 11.00 firmware for the PS4. This works for slim and pro models as well. I've been waiting for this for a while. But there is an annoying bug that happens when you try to run the exploit. The exploit is based on PPPoE connection. Okay, so when you run the exploit, pretty much, you get uh, this window. This is one of the steps in the exploit. It tries to find a corrupted memory object, but it fails. And uh, mine failed approximately 30 times in a row. Uh, they usually say just keep at it and reboot your PlayStation and keep going. But I got failure after failure after failure. So I started experimenting and I actually found a way to fix this. But first we need to set up a few things on the PlayStation. So let's go do that. First, check your version. Go to settings, system, system information. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. I am on 11.00. Everything from 11.00 and under works. Okay, so next, turn off automatic downloads. This is to make sure you don't update your console by mistake, just by pressing the button randomly. Next is going to back to the main uh, settings and then go to network. We need to set up a few things here. You have to go into your network setup, choose LAN, then custom, and then PPPoE. And then you choose a random username and password. This doesn't matter really. And I found that if you do this and uh, press next and automatic, uh, automatic and then uh, do not use, then press B to go back and then turn off the internet connection. This is really important because this actually makes it a lot more reliable now on the pc side of things you need to download the ppp wn software i use the go version i leave a link in the description download the newest version on from github it's really easy to use it has a, a few different variants of the hack after it's down uh, downloaded you can uh, extract it at any folder that doesn't really matter the exploit is quite easy to use but it's a little unreliable at the moment but it uh, helps you use homebrew and uh, backups from games and other stuff so that's important okay in the main window you will find the, uh, the files and there are a lot of files here uh, there are bad files that do this, but uh, I prefer to download it directly from the homepage, knowing exactly what I download and install on my computer. So I'm going for MPCAP. It's a requirement for this exploit. It's a freeware software, so you can use this uh, as you want. There is a bad file that downloads and installs it, but I rather go to the homepage. I leave a link. Okay, so download the Windows version or Mac or Linux if you have that install it this is important for all versions of the hack so don't uh, skip this step there is a problem with some of the hacks that they don't actually recognize it's in being installed uh, at least under windows 11 it's an issue i know that works better under windows 10 but uh, there is a solution for this and i'm going to share it in a moment and now a quick word from my sponsor, PCBWay. Thanks to the continued support, I can continue making videos for you guys. Please make sure to visit them at PCBWay.com for all your PCB, 3D printing and manufacturing needs. They do a lot of other stuff. They also have an extremely nice shared projects page. I actually ordered a few projects for myself. They will be included in next videos. Okay, now back to the video. 
Okay, so open your uh, hack software. And the run anyway here. This is Windows 11 stuff. Okay, so click on the version number underneath. And then on the top here, you need to choose your adapter. So you use a long cable between your computer and the PS4. I'm using an external USB uh, via USB 3 that is connected to a network adapter. So I have to uh, choose that one. In my case, there we go. It's because my main uh, network port is actually being used for internet. Then you need to choose what exploit to use. So I chose the CPP version. So that's uh, C++, but it fails. So it doesn't recognize the NP cap and I have uh, rebooted the computer as suggested, but it doesn't work. I can't get to work under Windows 11. It works under Windows 10 for some reason. So I suggest you install instead the Python version of the hack, but that also requires you install Python on your computer. So I'll leave a link for the Python web page as well so you can install that just install the newest version it works fine so if you go into python web page should find the download link at the top of this uh, page up here so that's really easy just download and install just press next 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 you don't need to change anything it's good enough for this I have two different versions because I actually program stuff in Python, so I already had it, but you just install and press next. Now choose Python PPPWR and then go out and press go. And now you get this. When you get this, you go back to your PlayStation. It's waiting for the PlayStation to send a message, so we need to activate the connection to the internet you and then you go to the test connection and it should start the exploit so the uh, main difference here is i have the connection off all the time until i actually run the exploit so i found that this makes it 90 percent reliable instead of zero <laughs> so uh, this seems to fix the inconsistencies in this working for some reason it's very time sensitive as well so timing is off because the playstation glitches or you go in a menu in the playstation or whatever it actually fails so or crashes it can outright crash your playstation 4 as well so you will see this on the screen when it's done and you will start to see uh, to see the payloads installed so you need to pre prepare a usb with some payloads as well the gold hand you have the payloads inside the installation folder and it says uh, gold hand to USB. So just run that bat file and it will copy the gold hand to your USB drive. You need to have that USB drive connected to your PlayStation 4 while running the exploit. If the exploit is completed, you can go into gold hand, debug, and then package source. If you have uh, packages you want to install, you can do that directly from the USB. There is also another setting that's really important and that's the rest mode. You need to set the rest mode because if you reboot your PlayStation, the exploit disappears and you have to do this all over again. Uh, my PlayStation uh, crashed a few times because of the VR headset I have for it and uh, yeah, I had to do this many times so that's why I found a better way. So you do this here in settings, enable rest mode and this puts it practically to sleep instead of uh, actually turning it off and uh, the exploit st stays afloat. So you use the enter rest mode. Let's do that just to confirm gold hand continues to work afterwards. I have a game I installed via my USB. I do own the original so don't worry. <laughs> I use this for backups and the homebrew mostly. If you're listening in, uh, Sony. Okay, I don't have my VR headset hooked up right now, so it's going to complain. 
But this is really handy if you want to run a FTP server, watch movies or whatever. So let's try the rest mode. I speed up uh, this part because it takes a while to reboot a uh, PlayStation. Okay, uh, it's back. I just started it. Uh, ignore the glitching. That's my capture card that can't really <laughs> deal with the blinking. And Gold Hen is active. So, if you don't have it active, you will not see the Gold Hen on the top here in settings. Or if you go to System and System Information, you will not see the Gold Hen firmware loaded. Like you can see, it says HEN 11.00. 